Greetings and salutations YouTubers, this is Zillafan85, back today doing my latest video. I've got another figure review for you. Uh, today, one that I was definitely looking forward to for a while. Um, this, of course, is my Ray Mundo 1967 King Kong figure. Yes, that's right, based on the 1967 incarnation of Kong, obviously from you know the movie that year, King Kong Escapes. Um, you know, definitely a movie that I really like a lot. And personally, for me, a King Kong design that I happen to really like a lot. I know um, other fans have said that they kind of prefer his 62 incarnation from King Kong vs. Godzilla, but I always like the 67 version better, just personally. Um, I just thought that they kind of fixed up you know some of the shortcomings of the uh, of the 62 design you know obviously both of those were uh, uh, were the Toho versions of Kong um, so I was really really happy to get this in my collection when I did a while back uh, you know because you won't really see too many King Kong escapes figures other other than this at least not that I've seen anyway um, so just just for that sake alone I just think that this, you know, is worth the price of admission, you know, being such a rare figure that it is. Uh, so at least, you know, that's why I, I really, really wanted to go ahead and, and pick it up and get it. And I think that, that Ray Mundo did a nice job with it. I, I, you know, I haven't really seen too many reviews on this. I've seen some from the, uh, from the Ray Mundo 1962 King Kong and also from uh, their version of Mechanic Kong. Uh, but I really have hardly seen, if any at all, on the 67 Kong. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Like I said, I think Ray Mundo really did a nice job with this guy. Uh, you can see here, this is the standard variation. They do have different different versions that have different paint schemes, but obviously I wanted one that's more of the movie accurate design. Uh, and as you can see, starting with the paint, that it's got the nice browns for his fur all over his body. It looks really, really good. They've got like some lighter shadings of brown, almost a sort of tannish color uh, mixed in just to sort of highlight it, you know, and give, give different shadings to the fur as well as on the, uh, the chest area and, of course, the face and the hands, as you guys can see there, and the feet. So they all have that lighter shading, more of that almost tannish color. And then, of course, again, mixed in with the brown for the fur. You know, and a nice solid brown, you know, definitely gets that, uh, captures that look that Kong had in the film. Uh, the teeth done in a different variation. Uh, as you can kind of see, it's not really a white color. It's, it's sort of a, um, it's just sort of like a dirty bone color, I guess you would say. Um, you know, I guess a very very off white then I guess I guess would be the best way to describe it you know like I said sort of a do dirty bone color so you guys can see that there for his teeth uh, his eyes the white eyes and black pupils uh, that looks really good there give you guys a bit of a close-up shot you know you can really tell that this is Kong just by looking at it you know so um, Again, you know, just a nice design all around, at least in my opinion, and a really nice figure all around. So, that pretty much covers it for the paint. You know, King Kong, pretty basic. You know, obviously a giant gorilla, uh, or monstrous gorilla, however you want to put it. Um, so, that covers the paint. The detail, uh, again, Ray Mundo, I think, just did a really, really fantastic job on this guy. Uh, again, you can really see the way that they highlighted the fur here. So, you know, obviously the way they painted it, but then they really sculpted it in to make the uh, the vinyl, the plastic, look like a you know just have a very furry look uh, about it. You know, as it as it should. You know, so and you guys can see that all around him, the way that they highlighted it too, make certain points of the fur really stick out. You know, at least in my opinion, uh, you got the hands and feet sculpted in very nicely. Uh, very indicative of his design there. You guys can see the nails um, 
on the hands and feet uh, are, are sculpted, but they didn't do a different paint scheme, which is a bit odd. Uh, but, you know, it's more of a little nitpick more than anything. But the detail work, the sculpting, looks really, really nice, I think, on both the hands and the feet there. So try to make sure that this focuses for you guys so you can see all the detail work done on that. Uh, the face as well looks really, really good. At least I think so anyway. Um, you know, again, very much captures that look that he had from uh, King Kong Escapes. Um, you know, I certainly think so. And I just think they, they really got all the detailing for the nostrils. Again, the way the teeth are sculpted in there. Uh, the eyes, the forehead with the brows. Everything looks really, really nicely done. And again, you got the detailing for the chest and all that. So, again, you know, like I said, you know, uh, they really didn't skip too much here. I think this is a really well done figure. Uh, so that should pretty much cover it for the paint and detail. Uh, again, this is a pretty basic review here, so, <laughs> um, and then otherwise we're going to look at the articulation, uh, but there's only a few points on him, so just take note of that. So both of the arms can rotate. Just holding it like this to make sure that it stays in view for you, and as you can see, it can rotate all the way around. Both arms. Very, very good. And the waist has a swivel. Um, it may be possible to, to get all the way around, but I just think the way that it's shaped, I, I wouldn't recommend it, as it might be popping out of place. But you can at least swivel it, as you guys can see here. So it's getting some swiveling left and right. So you can put him in some different poses like that. Uh, and that's really it. So really just those three points of articulation. Nothing extravagant here. Uh, you know, but... Again, this is, uh, you know, so it's a pretty basic articulation. But again, though, it's just really, you know, just a nice display piece, at least in my opinion. Because, again, uh, you're not going to really find too many of the uh, 1967 versions of King Kong out there and as far as figures go. Um, so... And that obviously being the case too, obviously this is a, a pretty rare figure. Uh, you can find them on eBay. I have actually seen a multitude of them. Uh, the uh, the problem is, like I said, because they are still rare, uh, they're still pricey. So, I mean, you're going to be looking to spend over $100 on these. Um, and... There are, like I said before, different color variations, so you want to keep that in mind, too. I've seen all kinds of different color. I've obviously seen the traditional one. Uh, I think there's one with more of a sort of um, different variation of the brown. I've also seen one where he's got, like, black fur, and I've seen one that's done, like, in all pink. So, uh, you know, different variations, I guess, for uh, collectors that like to uh, to get that sort of thing. I prefer, uh, just as with my YMSF figures, I prefer the ones that are the uh, the more movie-accurate movie, movie accurate design, so like this one was. Um, but again, you know, other than the price, you know, if you guys are in the market, I really, really do recommend this. I think Ray Mundo did a top-notch job with it, you know. Uh, I didn't get their version of the 62 King Kong because I, I opted to get the Bandai one instead. Um, both of them are nice. I guess I just kind of preferred the Bandai version of it. Uh, but, you know, since I haven't seen Bandai release the uh, 67 Kong, I, uh, I jumped right on the opportunity to get the Ray Mundo one. So, again, though, that should uh, pretty much wrap it up uh, for the video. Uh, I would definitely like to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you would like to subscribe, please feel free to do so. If you would like to like and or comment on any of my videos, please feel free to do so as well. And just remember, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, you be good to yourselves, and sayonara.